the time has come to go from X star to X star extreme. Well, maybe not so extreme just yet, but it's a start. Before we do anything else, it's time to get rid of those wheels. Let's take them off. Alright, next step, remove that brushed motor to make way for some brushless power. Oh, and the ESC of course. Let's get into it. We have success. Alright, now that all that bids and brace mundane stuff's done, time to get into the real action. Upgrade time. X Star Extreme, here we come. Alright guys, we are really cracking on. I have now got all of the new bearings installed in all four wheel hubs. You can't really see it, but they're in there. I've also installed the metal spur gear that I took out of the flying fish. That I've discovered that it is 64 tooth. I've also changed the bearings in the, I think it's called the Ackerman arm. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Anyway, that bearing is changed. Bearings in the front hubs are also changed they were a little bit more tricky because i had to actually take the king pins out of the c cups to get access to the bearings but that was no worries they're done so now guys what i'm gonna do is i really want to work on getting the ride height changed so I'm going to change the shock mount positions on the front and rear and then I'm going to put some wheels on it and have a look at what the ride height is going to be. Alright guys, I have now adjusted one shock on the front and I've got the ride height, that swing arm is almost level with the chassis in comparison to the other side I think that is pretty much exactly what I want so I've gone to the outer hole on the swing arm and the top 
in a hole on the actual shock tower you can see where the original goes so I'm in the top inner hole of those top three there so I'll put the other one on and then we'll get to the back alright guys I've now done the front and rear shocks I have adjusted the position to the outside holes of the rear shocks they were on they were previously on the inside holes so they're now on the outside holes and well they're looking those swing arms are looking fairly straight so I'll now put some wheels on and just see what it's like sitting on the sitting on its wheels all right time to see how low she sits all right guys I've now lowered the front end rear suspension and I put a set of wheel set of slicks on that I will be using in its first test run just to see it's got doesn't have a lot of clearance they may be the shocks might be too low but we shall give it a try and see I'll put all the I'll put all the gear in like the um, the new motor and the radio gear and all that sort of stuff and see but I don't really want it too much higher than that though because it at high speeds they do tend to bounce and jump about so I want this baby as low as I can possibly get it so alright guys next up is putting in the motor and ESC and those spots here will be filled so I will do that in the next video I believe looking pretty damn good I reckon very happy so far alright guys that's about it for this video I hope you enjoyed that um, right at the end there I went to put the new motor in and realized that unfortunately the sensor wire was a little bit buggered so that needs to be replaced so instead of waiting for that and not doing any speed runs I'm actually gonna chuck in the brushless system from the flying fish give it a bit of a speed run on that with the lowered suspension see what kind of speeds we can get probably not much better than the X-Star Pro but it'll be something but so that'll be for the next video but if you're new to the channel please consider like sharing and subscribing and smashing on that bell and come across to my Facebook group under the same name and I will catch you guys next time Matt at RC Chronicles signing off catch you guys